Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Renee. I'm an artist but I use my YouTube channel to share all of the things that I'm learning while doing my inner work throughout the past few years. You can scroll on my channel. I have over a hundred videos and I'm just gonna keep adding because this is my jam right now. So um, today I want to be talking about how to create your dream life and I feel like I'm pretty qualified to talk about this and I love that it's going around and it's kind of trendy to talk about things like this because I feel like this is how I've lived my whole entire life and it's nice that this mentality is being more like accepted I guess you could say but I'm definitely somebody who dreams really big and you know for a good reason because I feel like if you don't even think you can do something, you'll never do it. But if you have the, like, audacity to think that you can do certain things, it's like, you know, life makes a way, God makes a way. And, you know, you have to have faith that you can even accomplish those things. But first, you have to have the dream. You have to have the vision. You have to have the imagination. So this is, like, my favorite topic. So, yeah, welcome back to my channel, and I hope you enjoyed my last video, the live journaling. If you want to do more videos like that, if you want to see more videos like that where we journal um, together, basically where I share the kind of journaling that I'm doing, then let me know because I can do that as well. And if you haven't heard, I have a journal out right now called Wisdom in Dark Paradise, perfect for people who are just beginning their journaling journey, don't know where to start, or are looking for like a guided way to journal instead of just free writing and getting quote unquote lost in their thoughts like one of my subscribers had in the last video. I really appreciate that comment. Thank you so much for watching. But yeah, my signature inner work journal was in Dark Paradise. You could find information about that in the description down below. It's a five day journaling practice with guided journaling prompts and little things that I wrote about how to become wise and how to connect with your intuition and in the future I'm going to be adding to that bundle so if you get it right now you'll be getting way more than you are paying for basically so yeah that is in the description below and journaling is a big part of creative thinking in my opinion and creative writing um is basically how I've been using journaling to create like my quote-unquote dream life so how to create your dream life first have the audacity believe that you can do certain things and I made a video about this on my TikTok I'm not sure if I uploaded it onto my YouTube but I was basically talking about um, wealth consciousness and how like sometimes people don't even let themselves think that they can do something because they don't like they think about the money first before they think about doing that thing which then causes them to never do that thing so in that video and if I can find it I'll leave it in the titles above or in the links below but in that video I used the example of going to school like at one point I would get really caught up about applying to school because I'm like how am I going to afford it like you know I can barely I just got caught up in the numbers and then one of my uncles told me not to worry about money um, and you know even him just saying that opened my mind because it's like if I really let that limit me then I would never apply but him just saying that and me kind of getting rid of the, the block I was creating in my own mind about money was like a more expansive way of thinking and led me to applying because you really do start like opening up your mind and thinking bigger basically because guess what there's other ways to pay for school you can apply for scholarships you can get financial aid like there's so many different opportunities that you could have to pay for school and you know you're only limited by things if you allow yourself to be limited by them so i go more into detail about that scenario in that video but basically like you have to have the audacity to think big and to like really dream big and have a feeling inside yourself that you can do those things and that leads you into creating your dream life um another example i could use for my life is like i feel like your environment plays a really big role in how you develop as a person <laughs> because your environment influences you the people around you 
influence you and like your it influences your overall lifestyle you know what i mean so i found that changing environments really like changed you could even say like the trajectory of my life um because every time i've moved and basically started over i feel like i became a new person and in a way you do because you meet new people you start going to new places it's like a whole new chapter and you also become a new person because you have new experiences your ways of thinking change and yeah environment is a huge impact on your life and your decisions and who you are as a person so sometimes i even heard once that like if you want to get over something like say you want to get over a breakup the best thing to do is to change your environment and literally go somewhere else like that's why people are they get really addicted to like traveling because there is some truth to the fact that it really resets your mind and helps you kind of restart mentally if that makes sense so your environment is really powerful factor that you could use to help you create your dream life and even if you're not permanently changing your location if you don't have the means to or if that's not necessarily your goal simply going to new places and experiencing new things is enough to create a shift in your mentality um when i was living in like in my old neighborhood like my old old neighborhood and i really wanted to move i would spend a lot of time i was already working in the neighborhood that i wanted to eventually live but I would spend more time there and, you know, walk around and just like think, just basically like daydream about like what it would be like to live there. And that really helped me. And I would spend as much time as possible as I could in the neighborhoods that I wanted to live in and that I wanted to spend more time in that I saw myself in because I didn't feel like the neighborhood that I was living in at the time was a fit. And years later, I did end up moving and it's like, you have to just let your mind go there first. So yeah, not being afraid to really think big and let yourself entertain the idea of that thing potentially happening. Because the truth is that anything can happen at any given time. And one thing can change and your life can be completely different tomorrow. Like that is the reality. And you're going to get the things that you believe you're going to get, you're, you, what you accept, you know? When I was living with my family at one point, I was like on the job search for so long. It felt like forever and it was really discouraging. And um, I was, I would do like a lot of journaling and stuff because I was, it's just a good for your mental health to like write. And at least for me, that's something that's really helped me. And I would write like what my dream day in the life would be like, like once I got the job that I wanted once I lived where I wanted to live, what my day would look like. And, you know, that can be fun to just kind of let your mind, like, explore what that could be like. And I feel like in a lot of ways, those, you know, dreams that I had came true because I did end up living the lifestyle that I wanted. And even up to this day, like, as I... Moving is a great example because, at least for me, it has been because every time that I've moved my life changed significantly and my circumstances changed significantly for the better and it all began with me just thinking that I could do it and you know sometimes it's good to limit the um, feedback you get from people when you're tr starting to explore a new idea when you're wanting to try something new especially if it's kind of like a bigger idea and a big change because people you know, even if they care about you, um, tend to like project their own beliefs and sometimes they don't agree with yours um, and what you think you can do. And you're the only person that can decide what you're capable of, how much you're capable of, and if you can eventually make your dreams come true. So it's good to limit sometimes the feedback that we get from other people and maybe not share so much, at least in the beginning stages, because it takes a lot of courage to even think that you could do something to even start having the like bandwidth to like dream you know it already takes a lot of energy to do that so 
you don't need somebody like stepping on your ideas when you're just starting to create them. Um, I'm just, I always go back to the moving example because it's just relevant to me. But I remember when I wanted to move neighborhoods, the neighborhood I wanted to move to, everybody was telling me that it was too expensive. How would I ever afford it? From my family to like literally my landlord at my last place. Like, no way. How are you going to do that? That's so expensive. Okay. Like, you know, just like a lot of that. But thankfully, I've kind of gotten into the habit of, or at least when I really want something, I can do this. Not always. I can sometimes, you know, really tune people out because I want something really bad. And it does a lot of things, you know, sometimes take sacrifice. But what you, when you really want something, you know, you make a way. And that's just comes down to like having a strong mind. And how do you have a strong mind? You take care of your mental health. Uh, how do you take care of your mental health? One of those ways is journaling. That's why I created Wisdom in Dark Paradise because I personally can attest to how much it's helped me in my life. And it can be used in combination with other things that you do for your mental health, whether you're seeing a therapist, whether you're seeing a life coach. There, are, It's useful to have things that you can do on your own time to help yourself to have in your quote-unquote toolbox. So that's why I'm really passionate about journaling and my latest offer. My last thing I'll say about creating your dream life, this is truly something I can talk about forever. I think I have videos talking about this like from years ago, but um, when it comes to creating your dream life, there is this element of like recreating your identity because you have to create yourself into the person that you want to become. And that oftentimes includes a lot of change. Um, one of the most obvious ways you can observe this in somebody and you can do it in your within yourself is your appearance. I mean, hello, like look at my parents right now and look at my video from like two days ago when I'm in the same place, two different people. Because it's fun to play with your appearance. It's fun to try different looks like, and you know, different looks, you know, you carry yourself differently depending how you look that day. Like, it's just like a thing and it's fun if you let it be fun. So recreating your looks and having like the, giving yourself like the, what's it called um creative like freedom to like just be free and dress how you want to dress look how you want to look that is definitely part of creating your dream life because the way that you look affects the way that you feel and the way that you feel affects the way that you look and the way that you carry yourself and the way that you treat people like and the list goes on so definitely you know, our appearance is one of the easiest ways we can go about creating our dream life because nine times out of ten, if you take care of yourself and you feel confident with the way that you look, you're going to feel more driven to do the things that you want to do, to show up, you know, to show up for it not only for yourself but for other people and for the opportunities that might come along and you might feel more bold, like you might just have that like yeah, energy that you wouldn't have if you were um, not taking care of yourself and not taking care of your looks. So that's one of the ways that you can also create your dream life and it just makes things fun and you know playing dress up is like it's in our DNA like I feel like um, as women so yeah. But all in all creating your dream life takes having a clear vision for what you want to do and sometimes that's the hardest part is just deciding what you want to do next like we can spend a lot of time just really trying to make that decision so you know if you're just not clear on what you want to do next i recommend just exploring different options and trying them out it's not like you have to have all of the answers but only you can decide what your life is going to look like and the vision for your life Otherwise, you will just get thrown into other people's visions of, and ideas of their own life. And that's something that I've definitely experienced as well. When I'm not too focused and I don't have a clear um, idea of what I want to be doing or how I'm going to be getting closer to like my next goal, I'll just kind of go with the flow. And before you know it, I'm caught up in other people's drama and other people's like lifestyles. And that's why it's really important to have your own... Um, like plan for your life and I talk about that in some videos as well but where to start if you are just frazzled and um what's it called like unclear journaling 
I always advocate for that because it helps you become clear in your mind and if you want an exact journaling prompt to use that can help you kind of recreate yourself and be more energized toward achieving what your dream life is check out my video i think it's called the way you see yourself journal with me where i shared a journaling prompt that actually really helped me and has it, it i feel like it started my week off on the right foot after i followed that journaling prompt so definitely go and check that out and if you want to explore journaling anymore any and if you want to explore journaling further definitely check out my journal wisdom in dark paradise you can find it in the description below i really put my heart into these things so if you do end up using it definitely let me know your opinion and your thoughts i plan on expanding on that and making it a bundle soon so definitely watch out for that and for my latest offer i'm launching empress of esteem again on november 1st it's going to be a live training program where i walk you through step by step on how to raise your self-esteem when you sign up for it, you get an immediate access to six bonus lessons as well as the Wisdom in Dark Paradise journal. And then you have the live trainings happening on November 1st. And I'm also going to be adding another journal, but this one is like my newest baby where not only are you, do you have the videos now for your step-by-step -step guide on how to raise your self-esteem, but you'll have a journal to accompany those trainings, which I think is really fun. And I go more into detail about the exact things I did, specifically using creative writing that helped me recreate my self-esteem from like literally non-existent to, you know, I'm, if I could rate out of 10 how, I, like the transformation, I, you know, near a ten, nearly a 10 from how I used to be, believe it or not. So I'm really passionate about that program as well. And after the live training gets posted within that program, the price will be going up. So if you want to lock in the best price, I definitely would check it out right now. Linked in the description below if this kind of program calls out to you. Yeah, I'm just really excited for this. And um, being creative is a big part of making your dream life. I'm speaking from the perspective of somebody that's an artist, but I feel like we're all creative in some way. But for me, like living my best life includes being creative. And as much as I loved music and I love makeup and I love the like, you know, aesthetic stuff, I like creating works. So even though I'm not necessarily making music anymore, this is my new form of like my creative outlet because I'm sharing the things that I learned you know, there's media involved and now I'm creating a program and I'm writing and, you know, I'm making videos for the program. So it's all just like really fun and being creative without creativity. I don't know where I would be because it's just something that makes me so happy. It makes me feel deeply fulfilled. And, you know, I had to identify that about myself. But, you know, when you get clear on the things that really make you feel fulfilled, you will be more on the path toward creating your dream life as well. And last point I want to say, because this video is way longer than I intended, but creating your dream life has way more to do with, like, it doesn't only have to do with materials, like materialism and like, um, like consuming stuff. Like, Obviously, you could want your dream house, your dream appearance, your dream boyfriend or husband or car. Like you could have, you could want those physical things, but getting clear on like how you want to feel and like things that are just not monetary is an important part of creating your dream life as well. Because if you're only striving for material gain and money, then please understand there's a cap to that. So like once you get those things, if you don't have like a deeper sense of where you get your fulfillment from, you know, whether it's like your spiritual life or your creative life or like the way that you're giving your service to the world and like sharing, you know, your soul with people, like having that really deep sense of fulfillment, you know, nothing can replace that. So when you're creating the vision for how you want your life to go, definitely include other things besides like monetary items and like material gain because those things in a way matter more 
Um, they're both useful, but like don't neglect your inner self too. Um, because like maintaining your um, mental state and your emotional state and your spiritual state honestly doesn't have too much to do with money. Although money can bring comfort, you know, after you have all of the things you need, there's only so much that it can do for you. So I wouldn't recommend making that your main goal. Although I do understand the drive to be successful because I have that too. And there is such thing as healthy ambition. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video and let me know if you're going to be joining me for my Empress of Esteem course happening live on November 1st. More information to come and definitely check out the link in my description for both the journal and the pre-launch price for the Empress of Esteem program. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.